Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we are going over this beautiful weapon here, the Harmony. Now this is a skin for it from the Belly of the Beast event. The actual Harmony is looking like da -na -na -da 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 -da, a normal weapon there, but I have the Enlightened Hate skin on, so for the sake of this, I'll take it off. But just know, it's a really cool skin. We're going over the Harmony today. This weapon is a status scythe. It's a high damage status and crit scythe and it has a very special ability about it. You get it from the new Ascension game mode after finishing and running the Jade Shadows quest. Look, it stabs through my mods, awesome, right? That's how you get it. You can buy it from Ortis on the LaRonda Relay Mercury after you do all the quest stuff. And it has a very unique trait. Heavy attacks condense all status effects that deal damage over time into a single instance. Heavy attack kills active harmonic resonance, a buff that increases status duration by 30% for all Aya allies. So it activates that. So more status duration for allies, more damage, more everything. So it's just, it's just a scythe, I think. Heavy attacks, yeah. I think it's just an, a regular scythe, technically. But this is... The Harmony. Love it? Hate it? I don't know. I don't know. But it's a cool looking weapon. So let's take a look and see the damage on it. And then we'll talk about the build a little bit and the weapon itself. It is very pretty. Look at that with that like toxin effect. Corrosive? I don't know. I'd have to double check again. So here's how it works. Normal whatever damage, right? But once you proc that heavy attack or anything like that, get some kills, you do a lot of damage. Right, you're seeing 927. You're hitting 1.6 million. If we hit red crits, it'll be like millions upon millions more. So that's kind of how that works. All of your status is getting pushed into that one heavy attack and you're dealing a ton of damage at once. I just have a regular whatever build. If you're going for a combo build and you have a full combo built, you're gonna do a ton of damage. If you're just regularly playing the game, You'll also, 11 million right there, do a ton of damage. So it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good to know that, okay? It's insane. You just get status on it and then you can heavy attack and it'll kill them. The way the new melee setup mods, arcanes and everything works is the fact that it helps a lot. I have, okay, I do have viral heat. It's a slash and puncture primarily, but I think it has toxin by default. So I myself have Vicious Frost, Molten Impact. Oh no, I also have Virulent, Virulent Scourge on it. I think to like overtake and everything, but hey. I have some Sacrificial Steel, Condition Overload for some more damage, depending on how much status on it. Melee Elementalist. I think this is a mandatory mod for this weapon because of how the heavy attack works. Plus 90% status damage, whoa. And plus 60% heavy attack wind up speed. Okay. Okay, not that bad. And then I have regular old Organ Shatter for crit damage, you know, Berserker Fury for attack speed. Not bad, not bad. But you can get this new mod from Ascension. I really like it, but you can truly mod this however you want. Throw on Primed Reach, Prime Pressure Point, Fury, right? Go on full Prime Fever Strike over Virulent Scourge, and then swap out Molten Impact if you want. There's any number of things you can do if you want to, right? Like it all works and it'll do a ton of damage. Any sort of melee status like this, you want some of that. It has Slash by default, awesome. Make sure it has either Heat, Toxin, or maybe like Gas or Blast if you're using it. If they fix Blast for the new meta, you can try it out. I think Blast would work really well with it, but it's just kind of buggy right now, and Blast is doing self damage, so I'm not running that. But this is the cash builder that I have on right now. You could throw on full combo build with a Gladiator set, all of the other uh, combo sets for like Blood Rush, Body Count. You can throw on a full combo set. And like with anything else, it'll absolutely shred enemies. It's just, it's a combo of status and a combo of crit. The crit will do good damage. And then if you get a good heavy attack off those statuses with the crit, it all combines and you'll hit insanely high numbers like that 11 million I hit out of nowhere, right? So keep that in mind. The weapon itself works really well and it just absolutely slaps heavy attacks. 
I don't. Uh, Amalgam organ, organ shatter would be better. I'm just lazy. I could throw on Amalgam or, organ shatter, and it would be slightly better. Yeah, I'd probably recommend that, but it doesn't matter too much either way. You lose that sweet 5% crit damage. Do whatever you feel like, of course. You will attack, uh, use heavy attack faster, so it probably is a little better. It's just nowadays you use heavy attack with everything, so yeah, always just do whatever you feel like. Melee Animosity is still a really good mod, and I would probably recommend it, or just any Arcane, sorry, not mod, that will buff your crit heavy attack because of the harmonic resonance with melee animosity, having that also primed up with Dreamer's Wrath. You just end up doing so much goddamn damage that it helps so much. You could have double the heavy attack wind up speed, it always helps, but either way, it doesn't matter that much, and I wouldn't, uh, would never take it too seriously, but always run whatever you feel like running. I don't hit, like, the most heavy attacks, so, yeah, not too bad. Affliction is, no, 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 Arcane Afflictions is also very nice. Enemies affected by status effects gain six additional stacks when they're knocked down or flung by melee attacks. Yeah, don't get me wrong, also very good. I just don't think any of that's necessary. This seems to kill everything pretty easily. You pop off a melee heavy attack and everything's dead. So as always, mod it however you feel like, as long as it kills the enemies pretty well. I imagine you're gonna have a fun time. This is Warframe. You can theory craft and build craft to the highest degree if you want, or you can throw on whatever you feel like and as long as the enemies are dying, you're having a good time. I could go like this. Just run around, heavy attack everyone, and then you're hitting those. They all end up dying. Now I have my combos off. You know, sometimes I'll hit a million, other times you're just attacking everyone. You're hitting 217,000 off that. Hitting 27,000, 200,000s, right? Ah, it's a good weapon. And you're gonna be killing a lot of enemies. It's still kinda hard to see when you're attacking enemies what the numbers are like. Right? But that's okay. So it's a cool weapon. Feel free, one million, right? Like, feel free to throw down whatever draw builds you like using on it. Half the time you can't even see the damage. But anything you work, as long as it absolutely annihilates the enemies, like, it does, it works. As long as you're happy with it, and the enemies be dying, and you be smiling, well, ain't that all that really matters? And then if we go against enemies with health, right? Easy hundreds of thousands. Right, you're hitting probably millions, might not even be popping up on screen. Yeah, like, oh, oh god, like that 1.3 million. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Either way, as I was saying before my dog interrupted me, the weapon's good. Like, it's gonna do a ton of damage, and you can go for 3.5 million. You can go for, like, a more proper build if you feel like it. I just never care too much, and I just throw on whatever damage and regular old buffs we go for. Ah, these things, ah, they absolutely destroy. So if you wanna see it in just a regular quick survival, I can do that, throw on a steel path survival. I'll throw on revenant so I don't even have to worry about survival though. Or like wisp or something, ha 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 ha. No, I'll throw on revenant, the go-to for smashing my head against the wall and not getting hit but it's very strong. You're gonna have zero issues, so trust me, you're good to go. This thing absolutely destroys, even if ar even if you're fighting armored enemies, like going to Void Moth Survival, you're still gonna absolutely kill everything, no problem. Like, it's a strong weapon, and it was made to be a strong status to crit weapon. Like, not much to say about it. The harmonic resonance is good too. I think if you pair it with all the other weapons, it just like buffs a little bit more for everybody. Can't remember what the exact buff is, but hey, it's like a little stronger, so whatever. Right, off regular gameplay, you'll just go around killing everything. And you're gonna hit so many people, you're gonna have zero issues. You're already hitting millions out of nowhere. Hundreds of thousands with no real effort. Once you hit those uh, health enemies, if you want to throw on primed reach like always to hit even more enemies, always recommended. Oh, I casted Prismer skin a little too late. I was too lost in the sauce, right? Bad. 
I'm just I'm just a baby, dude. I'm just some nub. I don't know how to play Warframe. I just click button. Yeah. Either way, you're gonna do millions of damage off the, any of these. Yellow crit for 3.5, all right? You'll do a ton of damage as long as you uh, build up some statuses. Four million, right? As long as you build up enough statuses, you remember to build up certain statuses like toxin heat. You'll do okay. You'll do okay, everybody. But yeah, that's the harmony. Let me know what you think of it. I really like it, and I think everyone should at least like try it out, farm it. New game mode Ascension after you finish up the Jade Shadows quest line. But yeah, let me know what you think. If you want to support the channel, subscribe, like. You can use Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker. After all, liking the video and commenting down below is probably the easiest way to support the channel just casually. So thank you all so much for joining. I will continue on Warframe videos and the first Ascendant videos because we're going to be very busy with that. Cheers.